Well, the slave market is borked. But we're going to press on because we still have a ring world to work on and uh, maybe at some point the slave market will adjust itself. But I tried to reload the game. I even did a reboot of my computer and I know that that is not something that really would fix it from a technical point of view. But I really just threw the kitchen sink at it. And uh, as you can see, it's still borked. So we're just going to politely ignore that until maybe it fixes itself or maybe not and continue onward as I just said. A second ago. So we have a new colony going down. It's going complete. to be, let's actually call this Colonium Eboricum, now that that's happening. And can we go ahead and start another colony? I bet we can. I, I, I think we've got the resources. I think we've got the energy surplus to justify going for another colony. Also, hey. Hey. Yeah, this needs to happen. I don't know why we haven't terraformed Mars yet. Let's take care of that, shall we? Although, for whatever reason, I don't have... Oh, we don't have climate restoration yet. Okay, that's why. That would be a very good explanation for it. So, we'll have that done once climate restoration... I remember now why we hadn't terraformed it before the series went on break. Or, the series didn't really go on break, did it? The series went away for a while. The channel went away, in fact. And now it's back. Spaceport reports enemy Still contact. need to do a... Um, kind of an update video that I'm going to put in the original playlist of Roman Galactica 2, just so that people know, like, for sure, that this series is there. Every now and then I get someone who's, like, discovered the series late and watches all the way through and then gets to the end and it's like, no! Why are there no more episodes? And so, you know. See if I can get around to doing that soon. So, let's see. We have a need for an additional district here. Why don't we do... This is definitely a generator world, so let's keep it that way. Colonia Scandia Construction complete. is for now just Construction a, complete. Not, not really anything special about it, to tell you the truth. Let's clear that deep sinkhole, because we can. Looks like we have some research that we can do as well. I'll build another mine district there. Colonium Spilatum. We have a specialist unemployed, but we will clear those impassable mountains. Then Olympia. Okay, you have a housing problem. That I can solve a little bit more directly. So let's go ahead and build a... You know what? Let's let's build an agriculture district there. And then, oh yeah, let's close all these up. Don't need them all showing at the moment. Nova Egyptus has some unemployment. I bet if I were to upgrade that building to a megaferger, then things would be better. All right, we have experimental subspace navigation. Very handy to finally have that ability. I don't know that I want to go for sapient combat AI, but... For our next physics decision, we have a computing expertise researcher, so we can go for Guardian Point Defense and have it done relatively quickly. Let's do that. And then I have a good number of alloys, enough to begin the project here. So that's right. We don't have the mega engineering technology yet. Somebody point that out, pointed that out in the comments, and I appreciate that reminder because uh, it doesn't necessarily... When you select here... Unless you mouse over it, it doesn't tell you. So you can look at this like I was looking at it earlier and go, oh, that's all I need, just the 10,000 alloys. No, we need a technology too. So since we are going to have to wait a little while, one thing I may as well go ahead and do is start upgrading all of these bad boys to allow for just more going on. And of course, we don't have Citadel's researched yet. Let's go up to speed three and let this thing take it away. Which reminds me, speaking of things that have been pointed out in the comments... I think I might have let slip in, just in the process of, let's see, they're mechanical, they're durable, they're mass produced. Let's, let's take a look. In the process of, you know, getting our feet wet in the series again and figuring out all the things that we needed to do, I might, is it engineering? It's engineering. That's right, so I've unlocked droids. Yeah, I finished this tech without thinking about it. All right, neural processors have been greatly improved. But the question is, it, it doesn't appear... Let's have a look.
unless there's something I'm overlooking, I don't see anything to indicate that these have been fully upgraded to droids. There is something I want to check, though, that can help me look at that. I go to the population screen and look at the jobs they're working. Remember these triangles? These robots exist in a state of non-sapient servitude. So... Why do I just have the feeling that there's something I have to do to make these robots into droids? That's my question. Hang on, let's go back to the research screen and look at that again. And look at that again. Obviously, I don't work with droids too much, and it's been several patches since I've done an Empire. What do we do? We did the um, Synthetic Dawn. Cooperate or Die. That's right, Cooperate or Die, that series. That was one where I had robots, and not just... I think I had, or either that or I was playing as, I was just playing as a uh, kind of a hive mind, I think. As the cooperative, the Visión cooperative. So I'm still bitter, by the way, that none of my custom races made it into this save. But in that series, I didn't have robots, I guess. So I guess maybe I've never done a really robot heavy playthrough, or at least I can't like, long-time viewers, you can remind me. If I'm forgetting a series where we went really heavy on the robots, I definitely haven't had one that is where it was thematically part of the series from the beginning, like a plan and part of the narrative of the series. So that's why I'm having trouble remembering. But, oh, actually, I didn't want to change the project. Let's finish up that. But I do want to look at what's researched. Did I overlook it? Yeah, it's right here. So unlocks feature, droid workers. Okay, robot pops are capable of most pop jobs, but are unable to perform ruler jobs and more complex specialist jobs, such as research. Okay, it seems like it's already happened. Because they still say that they're robot pops, so nothing actually happens to call them droids. And it was pointed out to me, the reason I just spent so much time looking at that, it was pointed out to me that maybe the the droids are need to be need to have their status changed away from servitude. And I don't think I'm going to do that just yet, but we can keep talking about it in the comments. Science if there's Division something that I'm missing, a new breakthrough. the game isn't telling me, then uh, we can figure it out together. So let's see, we have Isolated Valley here. I've already built an alien zoo. So now would be a good time probably to have some additional Sabine Industries on Aurora. Yep, let's do that. And then nothing else for the moment because we're still building on other worlds. Naval capacity has gone up by 30, so it's going to be time for... I know I mentioned in the beginning of the last episode we had battleships on the way. We haven't quite researched them yet, I don't believe. So those are going to be around the corner. Yeah, we don't quite have them. So I would imagine once we finish Plasteel Armor, we might have the option. Then again, Plasteel Armor was one of my options at the bottom of the list, and when you finish one of those, it doesn't generate new options for you. But we're going to get to them soon. Naval Cap. I might just keep pushing in that direction, but let's go for Selected Lineages since that's the rare option from among our current options. Once we have battleships, what we're going to do is build up to our total complete. naval capacity, maybe have a couple of fleets instead of just one, and then say hello to, like, the Dabulin Free Traders, perhaps. The Duranchu Coalition, we have a decent relationship with them at this point. Uh, we could take them over. Construction complete. Right now, they they haven't rivaled us. They're a part of the Stellar League with the hegemony of Skrikan. So this bottom rim of the galaxy here is a federation. And the Drancer Coalition are Federation builders. They're fanatic xenophile and egalitarian, so we don't have as much reason to go to war with them as we do with, say, the Dabulin free traders, who have less of an opinion of us. They're peaceful traders, but for whatever reason, they don't like us. They've already made a number of claims on us. I guess they... Well, I say for whatever reason. We know why they don't like us. They don't like our slavery policy, and they're allied with rivals. So, we are allied with rivals, rather. We're allied with the Raxar hegemony, and as you recall... They rivaled each other not too long ago. The hegemony of Skrikan has become more outwardly xenophilic. Yeah, so now these are both xenophilic empires. Skrikan was not always, obviously, because we just got the notification, but they were not always that way. All right, these upgrades are still Construction going through. Complete. Glad that's happening, though. Let's keep an eye on the planets as best as possible. Also, any upgrades that I can work on? All right, so we are bombing Pila, by the way. If you're curious how this is going. Devastation's up to 31%. Somebody asked me if I was going to bring in some armies and actually start conquering yet. I might. 
Uh, but for now, I'm just bombing the crap out of it just to see kind of how that affects things. When you bomb things down to a certain level, I think you have to keep devastation rising in order for buildings to be destroyed. Right now we have orbital bombardments. Here we go. This gives us some basic information. This tooltip has evolved over time. So we have moderate damage to armies and moderate damage to the planet, light damage to pops. It will not bombard undefended planets and will not kill the last 21 pops. So there are currently, how many pops on this world? 28. So this amount of bombing will, hang on, if we change. All right, so we can set this to indiscriminate, be a little meaner. Heavy damage to armies and heavy damage to planet, moderate damage to pops. Yeah. And yes, for those of you who asked in the uh, comments of the last episode, this is an overreaction. <laughs> but we can just say that we're becoming more belligerent. Empress Lucia has given a rather strong response. All right, recycling campaign, healthcare campaign, and what else? Production targets? Oh, hey, now that production targets is gone... We are in serious need of, well, more production targets. Should I just bring that back up, or should I do something to boost minerals in, in other ways? I'll go ahead and bring that back up. But we're going to need to get mineral production up just organically, without using any bonuses. <laughs> Still with this hack, half Raxar ruler. Here are a few more blockers. Slowly getting rid of all those. Which is good to see. Those upgrades are still... How long are they going to take? Science oh, division wow. report success. More than a couple of years. Alright, Plasteel Armor has finished. There it is. Alright, Battleship was an option available to us already. Lots of good options, in fact. But I did mention Battleships at the beginning of the last one, so let's go for it. 54 months remaining. 25 months until Guardian Point Defense, and 12 until Selected Lineages. The Hegemonius Krakon has declared the Veteresius Confederation their rivals. These guys. <laughs> Ever since rivalries were changed in order to allow you to rival anyone, not just your neighbors, it's funny to see all the little, all the big nations that get sandwiched in between rivalries. Like, we're sandwiched in between the, the Raxar Hegemony and the Dibulin Free Traders. It's like, what are you going to do? Attack each other? I'm here. That's not going to go well for you. You're not going to get to them <laughs> before I destroy whatever attempt you make at taking their territory. Before I stop you wholeheartedly. Let's see. Let's do an Autoton Monument because we want to continue to produce unity. Now, this is an agro world. We are almost out, however, of minerals. Let's pull the market up. Slave market. Have you fixed yourself yet? Nope. Sad day. Hopefully that doesn't become like a crash-inducing problem. Let's just buy minerals that way. And then what can we do? Food processing facilities will help. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so there was a colony where I just queued up. Yep, so this is just going to be... Spalatum soon enough. Let's go ahead and remove that since we've ordered that upgrade to, to the planetary administration. Augusta also has a build slot available. We have claimed a new world. Good. So Colonium Aboricum is ready to start developing. Ministry of Production. This is currently an agro world, although it has three mining districts on it. So let's go ahead and do a mineral purification plant. We might do Ministry of Production a little bit later. Or possibly put the Ministry of Production on Earth. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that again. Again, slight redundancy from the previous episode. Previous episodes, really, because we already had a second Mega Forger on Earth. I don't know if there's anything else that I want to get rid of, though. I mean, I suppose I can get rid of the Cyto Revitalization Centers now. That works. Oh, we don't have minerals. We'll wait for minerals. I could buy some, but... Okay, fine. We'll buy some. <laughs> okay, fine. All right, so if I replace you with a Ministry of Production, that produces unity and Construction amenities. Construction complete. And this also increases the 
artisan and uh, metallurgist complete. outfit. I actually really like that. Let's go ahead and cue that up. So it's a shame we can no longer rescue our pops now that our slave market is bugged. That was a fun little narrative component of the past several episodes. Maybe it'll fix itself, but right now it's not uh, not looking like that. All right, so we already have a mineral purification hub here. Construction complete. Ah, we don't have an Autoton monument. Well, that is an easy fix. All right, I guess it's time to build another city district since we have some housing issues there. All right. They have returned the rivalry. The Veteresius Confederation and the Hegemony of Skrikon are now mutual rivals. <laughs> With the Izki Alliance right in between. Look how massive that label is, by the way. It just fits perfectly, complete. so the wording just gets massive. Okay, finally time for our next Ascension perk. So this is going to give us additional clerk jobs in every city district. And again, because we have fully adopted Prosperity, we get one additional merchant job per 50 pops. Okay, so we now have some choices. Enigmatic Engineering, Nihilistic, nihilistic Acquisition, Engineered Evolution, The Flesh is Weak. So we can go to Cybernetics, that's essentially what that is. Engineered Evolution means that we get more gene modification points, which is always fun. Galactic Force Projection, which improves naval capacity and fleet command limits. I don't think we need that. We can build an entire second fleet once the battleships are ready and not have to worry about that too much. Grasp the Void. Eternal Vigilance. Galactic Contender. Technological Ascendancy. I thought we already had that. Arcology Project. This would be fun. So we can turn planets into ecumenopolises. This is, this is increasing housing, resource production, and pop growth, and unlocking special arcology districts at the expense of the planet's natural resources becoming inaccessible, preventing all further construction of generator, mining, and agriculture districts. I haven't done one of those yet on the channel. Believe it or not, I haven't. But we, ha we don't appear to have... Yeah, we don't have mega engineering yet, therefore we can't start working towards master builders in Galactic Wonders. That makes me really, really sad. Yes, I know I have an ascension perk. Calm down. Yeah, mega engineering is not an option yet. Poop. The word of the day is poop. I wanted... I wanted... one of those. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's the alien crossbreeding ascension perk they added. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, cue some Marvin Gaye. <laughs> okay. Let's get serious. Engineered evolution, I guess. Maybe. I like that one the most. Then again, naval capacity and fleet command limit could also be good. I mean, we are the Roman Star Empire after all, so galactic force projection might make the most sense. Defender of the Galaxy, I don't know if we're going to be that nice. I like Eternal Vigilance because it helps us turtle up, but I don't necessarily feel the need to turtle up. Yep, let's go ahead and go with Galactic Force Projection. For a significant increase to our fleet command limit and our naval capacity. And then Hyperborea appears to have some new options here. So this is currently Science an Division urban world. Success. Good. What can I build here? We could do a research lab here. Might be a good idea. Let's go ahead and work on those. We don't have too many research labs built. All right, selected lineages are now available to me. We can do the collective self. For a second, I thought that said collective soul, and I was like, copyright? Uh, energy siphon? Nah. Commerce megaplexes? Maybe. Let's go ahead and unlock advanced food processing. How about that? Just to ensure that we stay ahead of our food curve, so to speak. Once again, I'm going to buy some minerals. Construction complete to deal with our rapidly expanding empire. We already have exotic gas refineries, cider revitalization, autoton monuments, and a food processing facility here. So at this point, 
What do we need the most? Merchants produce trade value and amenities. Construction complete. We found an archaeological site. Where? That's unexpected. Okay, pause the game. Let's finish making this decision and figure out where that is. Because I'm now thoroughly intrigued. Let's do commercial zones. We haven't done it too much, and Olympia is one of our somewhat older colonies. So, why not? Earth has those unemployed specialists, but that's interesting that they're unemployed, though. Because I just upgraded. Oh, you know what it was? I replaced. That's what it was. Yeah, so the administrators working in the... Yep. So I replaced a building here that was eating up four specialists. All right, where's this? Fossilized remains. This is in the Seishumia system, which I don't believe we can actually do anything with that, can we? Unless we have open borders. No, we can't do anything with that. So it looks like they've discovered, because they have some unexplored systems there, they discovered an archaeological site. Those jerks! I want that. Oh well. We'll save the archaeological content for... Legacy of the Forerunners. So, the Ural Station is a trade hub, and we can definitely build the off-world trading company there now. We've already built one here. There are opportunities to build... Yeah, that's all. That's for the same. Construction complete. There are oppo opportunities to build additional anchorages, which I could do. Construction complete. The Deer Station is good for additional anchorages, so I'll do that. Scientist Lucia Lucius has developed new skills. She now has the expertise computing trait. Construction complete. Let's do more anchorages there. There we go. Beautiful. And then go ahead and upgrade you as well. Still waiting on several upgrades. Good. Yeah, our naval cap is about to start skyrocketing. We're going to have room for plenty more vessels. Let's go ahead and upgrade this fleet. We're also going to have the ability to build them relatively quickly. Question is, how close are we to battleships? 31 months. Our other research projects are quite close. Quite close indeed. Aha! Colonia Ithaca is ready to simply be the colony of Ithaca. And let's give you a much-needed gene clinic, Ithaca. So that you don't take as long to develop as you've been taking thus far. Please and thank you. All right, so these unspent trait points, for those of you who don't remember, that's just for the key rim. Let's check on the uh, world of Pila over here. Oh, yeah, that's right. We sent what's the devastation, like 97%. Holy crap. There are only eight pops remaining. We completely annihilated them. We didn't literally send them back to the Stone Age because they're still in the early Space Age, but that's what you get for blowing up our um, observation post. Can I... Yeah, let's build a new one. And we can aggressively observe them. Alright, the colony of Hades is in need of... It's an urban world right now, but it will soon be... Hmm. I suppose this would be a good world to have one of these. Because eventually we'll have more mining districts here. That'll help a little bit. Let's see where we still have blockers and start getting rid of Science those. Division reports a new breakthrough. Guardian Point Defense has been unlocked. Don't need archaeology or archaeology skill that much. Archaeology? Archaeological skill. That thing. Yeah. Advanced shields works for me. 
Nova Egyptus, do you still have a ruler pop with nothing to do? Man, Nova Egyptus is just struggling to get that pop to downgrade or anything. Do ruler pops not move down a strata anymore? Because it sure seems like that one pop is taking its sweet time. Not quite sure what to make of it. Yes, let's extend the deal. Or do we need to extend the deal is the question. You know what? No deal. Not going to worry about it. We'll see what happens in 10 days, 5 days-ish to our exotic gases income. Science okay, good. It's still plus success. 5. All right, food processing center. So now we can upgrade those on our agro worlds. Not that we necessarily need it right now. I cannot wait to start building battleships. We're almost there. I guess our fleet command limit should go ahead and be upgraded. Let's do that. Construction complete. And we are 26 minutes into this episode. So I'm going to stop this one here. And the next one, we are going to keep pushing toward battleships. We are very likely going to obtain it because we're only two years away from it at this point. And then it's just a matter of... Um, getting Pila's observation post reestablished. I might go ahead and conquer Pila just to get it over with and um, bring them into the fold or sell them off as slaves. I don't know. We might experiment with the slave market to see if maybe we can fix it by selling slaves that we take from Pila. Maybe, just maybe, that will do it. But right now, this is still thoroughly and completely borked, as they say. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 4 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.